Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Insteon camera. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I film videos about DIY projects I do around my house. If I travel someplace cool, I'm sure to vlog it. And I like to give tutorials and reviews on products that I use for filmmaking. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. So if you've been following along in my video series, I've been installing Insteon products throughout my home trying to create the ultimate smart home. So today I got some more goodies to complete the ultimate smart home, including a camera. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. Also got a couple more Insteon switches just to finish everything off in the house. And I got these plates, which I absolutely love. These guys here are screwless wall plates. So basically, you don't see any of the screws when you put them on. So they look super slick when they're on the wall. So I got a couple of these to uh, replace some of the older switches that I have in my house, older switch plates. So I got those. I've got some paddle colored paddles, white ones, because one of my Insteon switches is brown that I bought on eBay. So I'm gonna switch that over to white. And of course, which you probably clicked on the video for, is the Insion HD camera. So this is the guy. This is the guy that we're gonna set up today right here. And that is the Insion Wi-Fi camera. Now so quickly here why I chose to go with the Insion cameras. If you've used the Insteon app, it gives you full control over these cameras. So you actually have a pan and tilt access on them, which is completely awesome if you want to cover a larger area. So I have these actually set up kind of in corners throughout my house on the outside, and I can turn them, tilt them, pan them. So the one on the front porch, I basically get a 180 degree view of the entire front of my house. So these things are really sweet. If you haven't picked one up yet, I put links in the description below to all of the smart home stuff. So click on those links, pick yourself up some stuff, and watch my videos to figure out how to set it up and install it. Okay, so let's get into this box so I can show you guys what's included, and then we'll get into the setup. So what we have inside the camera box is an Insteon camera, a wireless antenna, a wired network cable, the power adapter with a power adapter extension cord. I think this is new because I don't remember this coming from the previous cameras that I have. So super awesome to have this power extension cable here. And your wall mount bracket. They even give you some screws and plugs. This guy here came in two pieces. So basically you had your uh, two tightening pieces here, a washer in between. So you just had to assemble these two pieces, which I've already done. This now allows you to mount it on the wall and basically hang your camera. So this is how I do it around my house. I kind of tuck them up in the corners and because I can move the camera and pan and tilt, by picking a corner, sometimes I can get 180 degree or more views of the entire area versus one single camera facing one way. That's why I love these. The pan and tilt function is awesome. We're going to set this up for wireless use, but in order to do that, we need to plug it into your router hardwired first. So grab your power brick, grab your camera, make sure your Wi-Fi antenna is attached and make sure your network cable is attached. We're gonna take these over to our router. You're going to plug in this side of the network cable to an available port of your router and then you're going to power on the camera. Now that you've got your camera connected to your router, powered on, probably noticed that it did a bunch of funky things and spun itself around. That means that it's into its setup mode and ready to go. So now we're going to head on over to the Insteon app to complete the setup. Now that you have your camera powered on and connected to your router via a hardline connection, the next step is to open up your Insteon app. Once your Insteon app is connected to your hub, you want to click on the settings button in the bottom right hand corner and then click on edit settings. Next, we want to click on Devices, and then click on the plus symbol in the top right hand corner. 
scroll down to camera and click on camera. We're gonna skip the video for this one here. Your next step is to add a secure login and password for your camera. You definitely don't wanna leave this as admin, so create a username and password for your brand new Insteon camera. Once that's done, it's gonna search through your network for your camera. Once your camera is found, you wanna decide how you're going to connect your camera. In our case, we're going to use a secure network, so you wanna enter in your password next. This is going to write the settings to your camera. Once this process is complete, it will ask you to unplug the hardwired connection and then the app will connect to your camera wirelessly. Once this is complete, you can take this opportunity to rename your camera. Obviously pick a name of wherever you're going to put it. In our case, we're going to rename this to Backyard Camera. So now we're going to add this camera to our rooms. It's under all devices. We're gonna click on outside and that's gonna update the room. So you can see all of your information is displayed here. Now that we have our camera installed outside, I just wanna show you how to flip and mirror the image. We've actually taken our camera and mounted it upside down inside the eaves to keep it protected but now our image is backwards. So you wanna go into your camera settings, scroll down and click on these two buttons here, flip and mirror. And this will correct the image so that you will see it right side up on your Inseon app. So I hope I helped you out today by showing you how easy it is to set up an Inseon camera with your Inseon app. So now from anywhere in the world with your iOS and Android devices, you can check on your house using your Inseon app because we've created a secure server between the Inseon hub and the Inseon cameras. This is the ultimate way to get cameras in your home and keep them secure. So if you learned something out of today's video, please make sure you smash that like button below. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope your day was full of awesomeness.